On this edition of Terriers Take 5, Record Tracker. The men's and women's track and field teams reset some of the record book at the Patriot League Championships. Freestyling. The men's and women's swimming and diving teams made their own mark in the history book at the conference championship. And hostess with the mostess. Walter Brown Arena will serve as the host site for the women's hockey's championship. Roll out the red carpet. Terriers Take 5 starts right now. The Terriers score! Hello all and welcome to Terriers Take 5, I'm Brian Moore. We've hit the month of March, and in college athletics that can mean only one thing, a whole lot of madness. More records fell at the Track and Tennis Center during the Patriot League Championships held from February 17th through the 19th as senior Cameron Williams broke his own school record and Patriot League mark in the 200 meter dash. Cameron Williams and David Oluwadara, uh, Cameron will be in the 200 meters. He's ranked number fifth in the nation going in and David Oluwadara in the triple jump. He's ranked number 10 going in. So we're looking to bring back two All-Americans from the NCAA championships. David Oluwadara won the triple jump for the third consecutive year as BU finished with five gold medals and finished third overall. On the women's side, Toria Levy finished with four gold medals of her own, breaking the Patriot League record in the 60-meter hurdles with a time of 8.57 and the 500-meter dash with a time of 1 minute 11.94 seconds. Uh, she completely deserved that for first place. Uh, she, that was an amazing job and to PR and everything as well. I mean, that's, that's impressive. I, I was very impressed with Toria. Sophomore Lovey Burleson won gold in the long jump. She also won the triple jump and earned Patriot League Female Field Athlete of the Meet. There are a lot of good multis in the multis. There are a lot of great performances, so I didn't really think that I would get it, but like it was really cool that I did. The theme this year, Coach Jay was saying, was do your job. And everybody was just doing their job, and then once they got done doing their job, they were right back around the circle cheering on everybody else, and that it's just an awesome, this meet's really special. The Patriot League Swimming and Diving Championships were held in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, starting February 15th, spanning through the 19th. Trevor Winans made the pool feel like home as he broke two BU records on the first days of competition. First, he led off the 800 freestyle relay with a 200 meter time of one minute and 37.47 seconds, beating the previous record set by Cole Pucci in 2014. Freshman Tommy Haggerty made an immediate splash in the record books finishing fourth in the 1650 with a time of 15 minutes and 37.1 seconds, breaking the school mark by 1.34 seconds. The women's team finished fourth at the Patriot League Championships, highlighted by junior Kyra Tatlow's victory in the three meter dive on day one, then the one meter dive on day three. The Terriers dominated the one meter dive overall as four Terriers finished in the top eight. Tatlow was honored as the Patriot League diver of the meet, she joins junior Lizzie Tillo, who won the honor back in 2015. VU has thrived on the opportunity to show off their state-of-the-art facilities and maybe actually add a bit of a home advantage. The Terriers get ready to host the 2017 Women's Hockey East Championship. Well, one of your goals is always to make it to the you know, final four of the league, try to get yourself to the championship game if you can, and uh, we've certainly accomplished that goal. Having it at home, I think, uh, makes life a little bit easier. We know the... Uh, the the nuances in the bounces of the boards, uh, you know, will still be in our locker room and uh, just a little bit of a quirk that will be on the uh, visitor's bench this year. But uh, exciting to be here and uh, real uh, happy and proud that the kids have made it this far. Oh, it's awesome, you know, having the fans and the band here. Uh, it's going to be great. The BU women's ice hockey team advanced to the semifinals on their home ice after coming back from a game one loss to defeat New Hampshire in three games. That team was unbelievably resilient. You know, I think the coaching staff did a great job. Their, uh, you know, team was very, very game all the way through. And uh, despite an unbelievable first period in game three, we, uh, you know, fell behind, uh, rallied to get ahead, then they tied it. And uh, of course, it was a nail biter right to the end. I think we need to bear down and work hard. You know, I think sometimes we uh, try to make the pretty play instead of just, uh, getting down and grinding and I think that's going to be important this weekend to make sure that we uh, work hard at all, all areas of the ice and just get the job done. Third seeded BU will now take on second seeded Northeastern in the semis on Saturday, March the 4th 
immediately after top-seeded Boston College takes on fifth-seeded Vermont. Tickets are available for the Women's Hockey East Tournament by going to HockeyEastOnline.com or GoTerriers.com. The madness has just begun, but we'll need a lot more than just five minutes to get through it all. Fortunately, we've got another episode of Terriers Take 5. Our next one will appear on Thursday, March the 16th. For all news BU, check out The Athletic's website, echoterriers.com. For producers Leo Perret, Chris Lizio, and Hunter Brasington, I'm Brian Moore saying, let's go BU.